Hello, my name's uh, Vinod Patel. Uh, I'm one of the GP registrars here. Okay. So I'm just going to find out a little bit about the problem that you've come in with. Would that be all right? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. fine. I'm just yeah. going to make some notes, and yeah. um, uh, basically uh, this will just help me write it up onto the computer uh, later on. Okay. So just in your own words, tell me what's brought you in today. Um, well, I've been getting some diarrhoea, really, mm -hmm. yeah, for the last sort of, well, two or three weeks. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, so... Before two or three weeks, no problems, really? Um, so before that, uh, no, no. I mean, I, no, I've just been going normally, which is once every couple of days or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no problems normally. Okay. So just tell me a little bit more about the diarrhoea, what it's like and things like that. Um, so like what, what, what my poo looks mm. like sort of thing. Mm. Okay. Um, so that's, it's quite, run, it's runnier, sort yeah. of looser yeah. than normal. I don't think there's any change in like colour or anything. Mm -hmm. um, and I probably, um, but, uh, but I'm just going a lot more often. Yeah. Can I just check, do you have any blood in it at all? Oh, um, gosh, yes. I, I'm surprised I haven't said that already. It's mm -hmm. worrying me. Um, yeah, th that I've had um, for a couple of a couple of days. Mm -hmm. And is it difficult to flush away at all? No, no, no. It's not difficult mm -hmm. to flush away. Yeah, and do you ever see any food that's not digested properly in it? N not, no, that wouldn't be something, no. Mm -hmm. no. So you said diarrhea, but how many times a day does it actually happen? Um, well, I would say somewhere between... Well, at the moment, probably somewhere like yesterday, it was probably about eight times. Eight times, yeah, oh yeah. dear. I mean, I don't don't think it's been like that every day for the yeah, last three sure. weeks, but but up to eight times up a to day. Eight times, yeah. yeah. Do you have to get up at night to go to the yes, toilet? Yes, yeah. Oh dear. yeah, yeah. And I've never had to do that before. And you're losing sleep over it. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm, mm. Mm. And do you have any tummy pain at all? Yes, um, yeah. That's it's quite sort of crampy, um, mm -hmm. mainly just before I I go to the toilet, but it can be at other yeah. times. But then does that pain go away once you've been to the toilet? Um, yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say so, a, a, a little bit. Mm -hmm. And does anything make the pain worse at all? Um, I, just eating. I do, not that I can mm -hmm. really think of. And you pointed to your tummy, mm. exactly where is it? It is, it is just sort of around the middle, yeah. really. Yeah, and how do you describe that pain? Um, I Sort of, it's sort of, sort of crampy. Crampy I guess. is what yeah. you said, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And, and how bad is it? Um, oh, no, if ten was excruciating and mm. one was very little pain, then where would you put it? It's not. It's not yeah, I've had worse. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. So I, probably about four. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not agonising, no, but, but it no. certainly is there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, and, it, and you've told me about when it comes on and mm. what makes it a little bit better and worse as well, yeah. which is good. So I'm just going to ask the rest of the questions just about the, the whole gut itself. Mm. Do you have any difficulty chewing your food at all? Oh, no, no. No, no mouth ulcers or anything like that? Um, no. Any difficulty swallowing your food no. at all? Do you ever get indigestion? No. Not really? Uh, well, sometimes, maybe on a, maybe on a weekend okay. sometimes. Okay, but, but not usually. No, not okay. usually. So this was only about three weeks ago that, that you've had yeah, the problem? Yeah, yes. Okay. Uh, and prior to that, uh, what, what was your bowel habit like? I don't go that often, really. It's sort mm -hmm. of maybe once a day, once every two days. Once a day, once every two days. Yeah. But certainly no diarrhoea. Oh, uh, no. A, a normal form still. No, it's quite harder, yeah. Yeah, if yeah. anything. But no blood, not no. black at all? No. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much for that. So just want to ask you some questions about the other systems of the body. Uh, so do you get any headaches, fits, faints, blackouts, anything like that? Um, yeah, I get, occasionally get headaches, mm -hmm. but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone gets headaches, don't they? Okay. And I, I've been getting them for a few years. So a few years, yeah. And they're not getting worse at all or anything like that? No. Okay, no. that's good, that's good. Uh, any problems with breathing? Um, Shortness no, of breath, no, cough, no. anything like that? No. no. Uh, any chest pain? No. Do you ever feel your heart having extra beats? No. Any swelling of the ankles no. or uh, any difficulty breathing at night? No. Nothing like that at all. Okay, you've told me quite a bit about your tummy. Mm. So any muscle aches and pains at all? I sometimes get like um, sort of weakness in my arm with the oh, headache. All right, so yeah. you get weakness. But yeah. how long does that weakness last for? Oh, only about an hour. Okay, any skin problems at all? Well, I've had a sort of um, a little bit of a, a rash that comes and goes a bit. Yeah, do you know what that's due to? No, no. No? Okay, but no joint problems? No, no, no. joint problems. Any problems with the waterworks at all? Uh, no. No. And can you tell me about your periods, if you don't um, mind? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm on the pill, mm -hmm, actually. Mm -hmm. The the um, I don't know what it's called, but the, the the one, I take it for three weeks and then I have a week off. Yeah. So I get the I get my period in that week. So the regular. Oh, but, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And they haven't changed at all? No, no. I've okay, been on that good. for years. So just a final check on your symptoms. Mm -hmm. So you've told me there's a little bit of blood in the... 
uh, diarrhea. Yeah. Okay. And is that every time you have the diarrhea? Um, oh, it's only been the last couple of days. That's mm-hmm. what's worried me. Okay. Um, and it's. I would, no, probably not every yeah, time. But you're not coughing at blood, nothing oh, like that? No, no. Okay, no lumps and bumps anywhere? Not that I'm aware yeah. of, no. And what about weight loss and changing appetite, um, I wanted to ask you? Well, I think I probably have lost weight, mm-hmm. actually, um, in the last few weeks. Um, my, my trousers definitely feel a bit looser. Mm-hmm. You don't know how much weight you've lost? I don't really weigh myself, so, no, I don't. I mean, yeah, it sort of overlaps sure. a bit now. Okay, so a little, little bit of weight loss, mm. anyway. Okay, um, so that's fine. Um, now let's move on to your past medical history. Any operations in the past? Did you? Um, yeah, I did when I was, I was sort of in my teens, probably I think I was about 15. Um, I had um, um, my appendix removed. In your teens, okay, yeah, but yeah. nothing since then? No, no um, big no. operations since then? No. Okay, uh, you said that you take a little bit of paracetamol for, for your headaches. Yes, yeah. Okay, and uh, are you doing any of the medicines at all? Um... Just well, I've, uh, the pill, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, no, no, nothing, nothing else. N- nothing else at all. Okay, uh, and nothing else over the counter. No, just the paracetamol yeah. for my headache. Uh, any recreational drugs at all? No. Okay, okay. And uh, are you allergic to anything? Oh um, yes, um, I'm allergic to um, amoxicillin. So mm-hmm. is that penicillin? Yeah. So I'm allergic to penicillin. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, what happens when you have penicillin? Oh, um, that's what I get. That's when you know, talk about a rash, I get yeah. a rash. Oh, I see, so that's the rash. Well, no, I'm, but um, yeah. Yeah, okay, so a rash with penicillin. Mm. So do you avoid penicillin? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. I've only had it once. Yeah. Well, as far as I'm aware, I've only had it once. Mm-hmm. I, I checked that time. you've had only the appendix operation, but no other serious illnesses. No, no. oh, um, well, no, not serious, no. Okay. No. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. So I just want to move on to your social history, if you don't mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, can I ask you, are you working at the moment? Or? Yeah, yeah. I'm mm-hmm. a teaching assistant. All right. Do you enjoy it? Yeah, I do, actually. Yeah. Yeah. They, but the kids can be a little bit of a nightmare mm-hmm. sometimes, but, you know, on the whole. Mm-hmm. So how's it. this condition impacting on um, your work? Well, it's, uh, well, I haven't really known where to go in, mm-hmm. to be honest, because mm-hmm. if it's infection, I don't want to pass it on to the, yeah. the children. Mm-hmm. So actually, I haven't been going in the last yeah. the last uh, sort of couple of weeks so you're worried about the fact that you yeah might pass well it on if it's someone. an infection yeah because yes, yes. you're supposed to be clear aren't you for like um two 40 hours 40 hours yeah um, so i don't really know what to do about yeah. that because i've gone mm-hmm. past you know mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and do you smoke at all um no no not, no, not never smoked oh i have yeah um i smoked at college yeah yeah, how many did you just mean about 10 a day about 10 yeah a day. Uh, how many years was that for um i smoked for about i uh, Three years? Three years, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. That's just smoking. Uh, what about alcohol? Do you drink alcohol at all? Not that much, really. No. Um, I drink at weekends. Mm-hmm. So what would your typical intake be in a week, do you think? In the week, in the week, probably nothing. And mm-hmm. then, But then at the weekends, I, one night I tend to go up I tend to go out with uh, my friends or, or my partner, and uh, so I might get through a bottle of wine and maybe a couple of shots or something. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, gin and a whole bottle of wine? Like that. Yeah, I, mm-hmm. yeah, I think so. Probably mm-hmm. over the course of the evening, mm-hmm. um, and then on the other night we might just have a couple of glasses of, you know, mm-hmm. share a bottle of wine. Mm-hmm. I mean, that sounds as if it's more than about um, about twenty units, um, roughly. Right. You know, because a bottle of wine would be about uh, eight nine units. Yeah. Uh, and then you've got the other half bottle and a few shots. So that's about twenty units, which is excessive, uh, I have to say. Yeah. Uh, and the fact that you have more than what we call six units, which is just over half a bottle in a single session uh, can cause uh, you know, disbenefits to your health, as it were, can harm your health in the future. You may need to talk about that. Would that be all right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. obviously, I don't want yeah. to, you know, that's why yeah. I'm here. But, but, it, so. Sure, sure. We'll concentrate on yeah. uh, the, the main problem. Um, so who's with you at home? Um, yeah, so I live with my partner, Sam. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, no particular problems there at all? No, no, no. Okay. We've been about three years. Uh, is there any family history of note? Uh, no, not that I'm aware of anyway. No, no gut conditions in the family? My aunt, my aunt maybe. Um, my aunt had something to do with her tummy, but I don't know what it was really. Okay. Um, yeah. It wasn't cancer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So just moving towards the end, I just wanted to explore your ideas, concerns and expectations really. So what do you think is going on with this problem? Well, I, I, th- I think it could be um, an infection. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. An infection, yeah. Mm. And you told me about one of your concerns about 
passing it on to people yeah. at work and especially yeah. the children yeah. I guess yeah. but um, any other concerns well, they pass at all? on to me yes. um, my sister my um, friend's sister mm -hmm. has got bowel cancer and she's only 30 oh dear uh, and so it's just the bleeding really yes, more than anything yeah. that's worried me um, so mm -hmm. I wondered about that really mm -hmm. I mean I'm glad I mean, you I, told me that we'll, we'll try and reassure you and let's see what, what, what turns out in your yeah. case what do you think we need to do today to help you well I wondered if I might need some tests I mean I'm really hoping because I did have a little look on the internet and I'm really hoping it's not going to be one of the, you know, the cameras I think mm -hmm. it's colonoscopy or something yeah. like that um, yeah I, 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 I'm hoping I don't have to have that sure 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 Okay, um, I think I've got um, everything there. Is there anything else that you want to tell me? Actually, I've just remembered, I, I forgot to ask you about travel. Uh, have you had any travel in the last few months or weeks even? No, 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 no I haven't been away anywhere. Okay, no. and you can't distinctly say that um, this is due to a particular food that you've had or... No. And nobody else has had this problem no. in your family. No, no. Just wanted to check that. Yeah. Okay, so is there anything else that you want to tell me about this problem? Um... No, I, I, do, oh, I did, did go travelling about three years ago to Africa. All oh, right, three years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I went okay. to, um, well, to the South Africa and, South Africa. and um, ended up into Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. But were you well there, though? Yeah, I was yeah. well, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. And do you have any questions for me? Um, no. How likely is it that I'm going to have a camera? Well, I think initially we'll probably run some blood tests okay. and do the stool sample right. uh, and make sure there's no infection. Then I probably need to get uh, a gut specialist to have a look at you uh, okay. if it hasn't got better in a matter of weeks. Um, uh, and then we'll take it from there. Yeah. But let me just summarise what's been happening then. So you've had this problem for about two or three weeks. Yeah. Uh, it is distinct diarrhoea mm -hmm. around up to eight times a day, sometimes overnight as well. Yeah. Uh, you have to get up to go. Uh, you've got cramping abdominal pain, uh, tummy pain, and you've got some blood uh, in the motions uh, as well. Um, there's no real past medical history apart from a little bit of migraine, you said, and the appendix. Uh, you don't smoke at all uh, now. Um, Alcohol, you know, we, we may need to talk about it later on. A little bit uh, uh, too much there, I think. Uh, but you're worried about uh, this because one of your, somebody you know had bowel cancer. Uh, and you're, you're a bit concerned about yeah. an endoscopy as well. Yeah. Uh, but would it be all right if we ran the blood test today and did the sample? And then oh, I can yeah, see you again. I want to get, oh, yeah, I want to get it. And then maybe I can out. see you again next week then. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, right then. Well, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you.